I've been hunting ready for 10 years. He's the most dangerous man we've ever tracked. Bounty's been doubled. I've come to collect your head in a box, right here. We might be a bit uneasy in the dark, but when it comes to another Riddick sequel, we're all in, even if the last one didn't quite live up to expectations. The beginning of the Riddick series, Pitch Black, originated from a story by Ken and Jim Wheat. Writer-director David Toohey, who had previous experience with science fiction in Timescape and The Arrival, further developed it. At the time, Vin Diesel was on the brink of Hollywood stardom, and the movie's concept was an easy sell. However, critics and audiences didn't fully embrace it initially. Nevertheless, through rentals and TV broadcasts, it gradually evolved into a modern cult classic. Surprisingly, only four years later, a sequel materialized as Tui and Diesel were dedicated to transforming Richard B. Riddick's dark sci-fi adventures into a full-fledged saga, boosted by the success of The Fast and the Furious in 2001. The Chronicles of Riddick, which also became the series' name, took a peculiar turn by introducing space fantasy elements and opting for a more expansive space opera approach, deviating from Pitch Black's restrained sci-fi horror. Despite an extensive marketing campaign and the launch of an unexpectedly impressive video game tie-in prequel, Escape from Butcher Bay, The Chronicles of Riddick didn't fare well at the box office. Even with additional content, like the anime short Dark Fury that bridged the gap between Pitch Black and the sequel, the mainstream success remained elusive. However, Riddick wasn't ready to fade away just yet. In 2009, Assault on Dark Athena emerged as a full-fledged sequel to Escape from Butcher Bay, complete with a remaster of the first game. This release served as a testament to the enduring presence of Tui and Diesel's unique sci-fi universe. Finally, in 2013, the third installment, Riddick, hit theaters and achieved a reasonable level of success, largely attributed to its well-managed production budget, paving the way for further adventures. Can we just detach his head, please? Here's what's gonna happen. In the next 60 seconds, you're gonna watch your own head drop into that box. Although nearly a decade has passed since then, the fourth chapter is yet to take off, primarily due to Diesel's commitments to other major film projects. However, the prospect of journeying to Furia seems imminent, and the timing feels just right for Riddick's triumphant return. As of now, the details we have about Riddick 4 suggest that the storyline will follow the path set by the ending of the 2013 film. This conclusion hinted at the next phase in Riddick's journey, potentially marking his final adventure on the big screen, his return to his enigmatic homeworld, Furia. In the Riddick movie series, Furians were nearly extinct, and as the narrative unfolded, more insights into Riddick's past and origins emerged. Furians, described as a distinct offshoot of humans with remarkable physical abilities, were identified as one of the four elder races in the known universe. The malevolent necromongers, led by Commander Zhylaw, later the Lord Marshal in the Chronicles of Riddick, orchestrated a genocidal assault on Furia. This onslaught was triggered when Zhilaw, informed by an elemental, learned about his fate. He would be killed by a young male Furian. Ironically, these events led to Riddick fulfilling the prophecy by killing Zhilaw and finding himself unwillingly on the Necromonger's throne. It's a classic case of a self-fulfilling prophecy for Zhilaw. The third Riddick film shifted away from the complex role of Riddick as the leader of the Necromongers, opting for a return to a more foundational sci-fi horror adventure reminiscent of Pitch Black. However, it seems that Riddick's ties to his homeworld and the Necromongers are not fully severed. Over the years, subtle hints have suggested a new threat to what remains of Furia and an exploration of the Underverse, a collection of dark stars considered by the Necromonger Empire as a kind of promised land. On September 25, 2021, Vin Diesel took to Instagram, sharing a photo of himself from the 2013 Riddick film and teasing an incredible meeting. While speculation about the fourth movie had been ongoing, this post marked the first official confirmation in years that Riddick Furia, a tentative title, was still in the works. The excitement gained substantial momentum on February 10, 2023, with the announcement, reported by Deadline, that the fourth installment was finally progressing. David Toohey would once again take on the roles of writer and director, 
with Vin Diesel starring and producing through his One Race Films banner alongside Samantha Vincent. This news reignited anticipation for the continuation of Riddick's saga. The current synopsis for the upcoming movie Riddick Furia reveals that Riddick is making his way back to his homeworld, a place he only vaguely remembers and fears may have been devastated by the Necromongers. Upon his return, he discovers other Furians engaged in a battle for survival against a fresh adversary. What makes this encounter intriguing is that some of these Furians share unexpected similarities with Riddick, surpassing his initial expectations. It's anticipated that Riddick Furia will be Vin Diesel's next project, following the completion of the 11th and final installment in the main Fast and Furious saga. This synopsis sets the stage for an exciting continuation of Riddick's journey, promising new challenges and revelations on his homeworld. Now the big question is, why is this the perfect time for Riddick to return? In recent years, there has been a rising demand for substantial and mid-range budget alternatives in the realm of sci-fi cinema. This shift comes after an era dominated by colossal franchises like the MCU and Star Wars. While Star Trek has made a return to both movies and TV since its 2009 reboot, it too leans heavily on nostalgia and revitalized iconography, growing substantially with the surge of streaming platforms. Audiences are increasingly seeking alternatives that can offer unique storytelling and cinematic experiences outside the realm of these established giants. The appetite for fresh, imaginative sci-fi narratives has created space for new and diverse projects to thrive, providing audiences with alternatives that go beyond the familiar territories of long-standing franchises. This trend reflects a growing desire for innovation and originality in the sci-fi genre, opening up opportunities for both big and medium-budget productions to captivate audiences in fresh and unexpected ways. While Riddick may not be a heavyweight in the sci-fi universe, its dedicated cult following has steadily grown, justifying further exploration across various media platforms. In a landscape where the grand spectacle segment of sci-fi is saturated, leaving little room for new entries, Riddick 4 takes a pragmatic approach by intensifying its focus on dark and gritty universe building and action, a departure from the current trend. Although attempts have been made to explore this niche on the small screen, none have truly resonated with audiences, and medium-budget sci-fi ventures often struggle to gain traction. If Vin Diesel and the entire team navigate this carefully, Riddick has the potential to generate enough buzz and momentum to break through the formidable big franchise wall currently encircling Hollywood studios. It's a strategic move that seeks to carve out a distinctive space in the sci-fi genre by emphasizing a darker and more intense storytelling approach. In the post-pandemic theatrical landscape, the dominance of major franchises persists, but there has been a notable evolution. Examining the 2023 box office numbers in North America reveals that the demand for alternative big-screen spectacles observed in 2021 and 2022 has become a sustained trend. Audiences now resemble those of the early 2000s when Riddick first gained prominence. However, the difference lies in the fact that Riddick carries some intellectual property weight and renown in today's context. A quick survey of the cinematic landscape also indicates a growing affinity among sci-fi and fantasy enthusiasts for morally ambiguous and tormented characters. While there is still room for traditional heroic figures, the appeal of anti-heroes has resurfaced. This trend extends beyond genre boundaries, as evidenced by modern action icons like John Wick, who epitomized the contemporary definition of cool and badass. This cultural shift in preferences aligns well with the potential success of a Riddick installment that capitalizes on the character's darker and more complex persona. Given Vin Diesel's portrayal of Richard B. Riddick, often described as John Wick in space, the odds seem favorable for the highly anticipated fourth installment. If the script meets expectations and David Toohey's direction proves to be on point, the return of the enigmatic Furion might transcend being just a farewell. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon 
to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.